Hi, I'm Matt from Automation Fixation. Integrating your Home Assistant with the Google platform will allow you to control devices connected to the Home Assistant via your smart speaker. This opens up a lot more options when integration is not possible directly with Google. Firstly, there are a couple of options to integrate your Home Assistant via the Google platform. You can use the very quick paid Home Assistant Cloud subscription, which I'll show in a separate video, and the more complex manual integration with Google. Both have their benefits, However, not having to pay a monthly fee is my preference. Today's video will go through the more complex option for Google Home integration. First of all, navigate to the Home Assistant Guidance for Google Assistant Integration. You can find the link in the video's description. Scroll down to the Google Cloud Platform section and click on Actions on Google Console link. Click New Project and give your project a name. For example, I'm selecting Hasio. Click Create Project and then once complete, Click on the Smart Home card and then click Start Building button. Once you're in the next screen, click Name Your Smart Home Action under the Quick Setup to give your action a name. This name will appear in the Google Home app with a prefix of Test and then the action name that you've selected. Once complete, click Save. Click on the Overview tab at the top of the page to go back. Then click Build Your Action and then click Add Actions. Add in your Home Assistant URL. You can use the example in the guidance and then update for your Home Assistant instance. To check this, go back to your Home Assistant page and copy and paste the URL. Once complete, click Save. Click the three little dots in the upper right hand corner and select Project Settings. Here you see the project ID. Make a note of this and you'll use this a bit later on. The next step is to set up account linking. This is required for your app to interact with Home Assistant. Go back to the Overview tab and then click on Set up Account Linking, which is under the Quick Setup section in the Overview page. Copy and paste the client ID from the guidance and replace your project ID with the project ID we found in the previous steps. The client secret value can be anything as it's not used by Home Assistant. Now copy across the authorization URL and make sure that you replace your Home Assistant URL and port with your own values. And finally, copy across the token URL. Make sure that you also replace this with your actual URL. And then once complete, click Next, then Next again. In the Configure Your Client Scopes text box, type Email and click Add Scope. Then type Name and click Add Scope again. Make sure that you do not check the Google to transmit client ID and then click Next, and then Save. It will take a little bit of time to enable the application. However, once done, we're going to need to add the configuration into the Home Assistant YAML file. Go to Studio Code Server and open up your configuration.yaml file. Copy and paste the example that you can see on the screen into your configuration file. You can adjust as required depending on what you want to expose to Google. For example, if you want to only expose switches or lights, you can select these options. Now before we complete the configuration, I also want to enable device sync. Scroll back up to the enable device sync heading guidance. First of all, you'll need to create a service account to allow you to say sync my devices and update Google with any new devices. This will mean that you don't need to unlink and relink the integration. Click on the link to create service account key to go to the Google Cloud Platform Console. At the top left of the page, next to the Google Cloud Platform logo, select the project that we created in the previous steps, and then make sure that this is the right project ID that we looked at before. Then click Open. From the Service Accounts list, select Create Service Account, and then enter a name and an ID, or you can use the suggested name. Click Create and Continue. You'll then need to assign a role. Click select a role and search for service account token creator. Click continue and then done. You'll then be returned back to the service account list and the new account should be on the screen. Click the three dots menu under the actions next to your new account and then click manage keys. You'll be taken to the keys page. Click add key and then create a new key. Make sure that you leave it as JSON and then click create. A JSON file will be downloaded to your computer. Then click Close. 
click on the link in the guidance to go to the Google API console. At the top left of the page next to the Google Cloud Platform logo, select the project again, created in the actions on Google console, and then click Enable Home Graph API. Okay, now let's complete the configuration.yaml file. In the configuration file, update the project ID, and then let's upload the key that was just downloaded. Go to your config share and copy across the file. Then back in the configuration, make sure that you rename the JSON file in the config based on the uploaded file. Take care with the capitals for JSON as the downloaded file is in lowercase. Now let's go to the developer tools and check our configuration. If all is good, then let's restart Home Assistant. Now if everything worked, then we can open up the Google Home app and add Home Assistant. On my phone, I've gone to the Google Home app and clicked the plus button in the top left corner and then selected works with Google option. You should be able to see your project at the top with the test prefix. After clicking on it, you'll be prompted to enter in your Home Assistant username and password. And if it worked, you will get the project is linked notification and then you'll be able to select the devices that you want to add and also select the room location. So let's try it out and see if the front door light switch will turn on. As you can see, clicking on the app, it is reflected in the Home Assistant status. You can see the details on the device, which shows that it is linked via the Hasio project. Okay, so the final step here is to test out the Sync My Devices. If you go through into Google and say Sync My Devices, the Google Home app should refresh any linked services, including Home Assistant, and then import any new exposed Home Assistant devices. You could also do this through your speaker. Now you should have a working integration with Google Home. If you do run into any errors, I suggest starting again clean within your Google Home and also within the Google Project configuration. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel.